how is everyone? I hope you're all well. So I thought I would sign the week off with one more video. And look, it's got to be the Summer Wells case. And even though this is a case that I said I kind of didn't want to get involved in, the more I look into it, the more you can't help but have an opinion or see something that just isn't right. And for those of you who have looked at the few videos I have done, it's not many, but um, we looked at Candace Bly and the fact that she had been requesting money and the fact that she had refuted this. She had said that she hadn't and there was people supporting that, that she hadn't. And, you know, I added pictures in there. This was um, Find Summer Moon page that's on Facebook. And look, <laughs> she's turned around again and said that it weren't her. She has not asked for money and this is someone posing as her and doing it on her behalf fraudulently. Now, that's rubbish. Now, this is her within this group. She had been posting in the group regularly. She had posted within this group pictures that she had taken during the sixth birthday celebrations that they had for summer. And they had... Um, uploaded pictures as well of Summer as a baby. So look, there's no dispute that that is her within that group. So however much she wants to try and say it's not her, I'm telling you, it's her. And this cap cash app is her cash app. You know, she's, she's basically given instructions of where they can post stuff to her. Um, you know... <laughs> I just, it just appears that every time this woman opens her mouth, she's talking shit. And look, your daughter's missing. It's important to maintain integrity, isn't it? So everybody can see that you are someone that when you say something, it's right. But you, every time you open your mouth, you make more and more people doubt your integrity. And this isn't a time for people to start questioning your integrity. Not anymore, anybody. Anyway, you know, I've looked and scanned over these pictures of their property to kind of try and picture in my mind the the way in which someone would have kidnapped this little girl from their house, and I can't see it. I'm sorry, and I know people are saying that she was kidnapped from the house. I just, I can't see it. I genuinely can't see how that would have been possible. And if any of you have got any other thoughts on that, please let me know, because I, I genuinely just don't understand. But all I do know is that there are periods within this timeline that have been lied about. There's gaps all over the place. Um, and the story that they've made up don't make sense. Doesn't make sense. I genuinely hope this girl is safe, but the more and more things that come up and the more and more things that I see, the more and more I lose hope. And I don't want to lose hope. I want to imagine that this girl is safe somewhere and she is going to get found. I genuinely hope so. But this woman's a liar. She is a liar. 100%. And whether you support her or not, I'm telling you, she's a liar and she's got more hidden, more hidden than she's letting everybody know. Take care, everyone, and I will see you all next week.